we be headed towards a, a world where the actual governments use this technology against the people where you have a central bank digital currency and you have a credit score or, and if you go over your carbon limit you're not able to fill up your gas tank as a developer what do you say to that i probably shouldn't say it on the radio but look the thing is about these people is I, they're not that bright you know you got to realize that I get it. They're following some plan that their great, 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 great grandfathers made a thousand years ago, and they imagine that they're going to steer society in a certain direction. And then, da, 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 da. guess what? The world's complicated. There's a lot of smart people out there doing a lot of different things, myself included. And I don't think you're going to get there. I think that. They tried this in Nigeria. They tried a, a, a CBDC in Nigeria. It was an absolute flop. The only thing that came out of it was a whole bunch of people got exposed to the idea of digital wallets, and now they're all Bitcoiners. So good job. <laughs> yeah, I kind of backfired on it then, didn't I? Yeah, I, I'm not particularly worried. We have to keep working. We have to we have to usher in this era of enlightenment. We have to work really hard to make sure that we get from where we were to where we want to be. A decentralized world, a world where everybody participates, not a world where we own nothing and we're happy. A world where we want to be is the closest definition of where we want to be is where we think we are but without the corruption. Because where we think we are, we all live in democracy, we all vote for our leaders, everything is by rule of law. That's where we are told that we are. Well, why don't we go there by simply using the technology to undermine the corruption, which makes it so that we're not actually able to experience what they say that we have. <laughs>